So here's how we do this. Whenever you get a question like this, which states a box, okay, a box, and where's the box? <laughs> the box here, yeah. And what happens later is the ratio changes from two to three, from two to three to five to seven because of two changes to the ratio. I want you to first off write down, okay, write down very neatly green and red. So I'm going to show a green marker here, green here, and red here. Okay, so after that, I want you to make sure that it looks as neat as possible. Right box on the left hand side and gray here. Now draw a simple straight line below and simple straight line across to make it look super neat. Okay, now let's put in the numbers. The ratio was 2 is to 3 at first. And then what happens? Uh, Mr. Uh, Gopal, sorry. Gopal bought 3 green, so plus 3 and minus 7 because he removed it. Now, next up, what happens is you actually get a ratio of 5 is to 7. The new ratio is 5 to 7. Now, I want you to imagine this box of, uh, of markers, be it green, be it red. After you add or whatever, just let's imagine that Gopal actually re-put it into different containers. Okay? Is he added all the green markers up and he put it into five different containers. He take all the red markers up and he put it into seven different containers. So in this case, I want to call it a bag. I, you can call it a bag, you can call it a Tupperware, you can call it a plastic, whatever you want. You can choose whatever you want, okay? In this case, I'm going to call it a bag. So it's very simple to, to write. So imagine that he put it all into a bag, okay? It's very simple. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine these green markers and red markers as being totally um, not important. You just we're just gonna call it markers for now, okay? So let's just do this. Make an equation with the first part here. So which means two mar uh, two boxes, right? Two boxes. I'm gonna write a box for simplification. Two box plus three markers. Let's call it three markers in this case M uh, equals two. What? Five bags, correct. Good job. Five bags, okay. And in the second equation for the red, so this is for greener, and for red markers, I want you to write in the same equation. So in this case, it is three boxes, correct, minus seven markers, gives you how many? Seven bags. Good job. Understand this part? Great. Now, what I want you to understand is we can actually find out how many markers are in each box or bag by multiplying them, okay, by, by solving this equation. But how do we make sure that these equations actually match? We actually have to make one side the same as the other. So in this case, what you will get is, as you can see here, how do you make this same number of bags the same? You times 5 below and you times 7 on top. So if you times 5 to this equation, you must times 5 to this part, and you must times 5 to this part. If you times 7 to this part, you must times 7 to this part, and you must times 7 to this part. So the final equation that you're going to get is actually look, you know, look like this. 2 times 7 gives you 14 boxes. Correct? Good. Plus 7 times 3, 21 markers. Gives you how many? Gives you 35 bags. Okay? And the other one is for red markers. 3 times 5 gives you 15 boxes. Um, minus 7 times 5 gives you minus 35. Good job, Marcus. Equals to 35 bags. Now, what I want you to understand is we can actually put these two equations together since the right hand side here, I'm going to highlight this to you, the right hand side here are both the same. So, what we can do is okay, I'm gonna erase the top part and make more space so that you can see it here. Okay, what we can do is let's delete this. Okay, what we can do is we can put them together. So the final equation, equation sorry, is as you can see from this, what I'm gonna write here is 14 box. Just copy it, copy the green, 14 box plus 21 markers gives you what? Gives you what? You can write here, I'm going to make it very clear for you. Equals, equals, equals to the second equation, which is, which is what? Yes, 15 boxes 
minus 35 markers. So how do you find out what one box is? Very simple. All you have to do is manipulate this equation. You bring this over. Okay. So from a positive 14, it becomes a negative 14. So what you're going to write below is 15 box minus 14 box. Okay. And in this case, the equal is behind here. Just copy it below. Okay. Just going to copy this. And on the other side, as you can see, you leave the 21 here. 21 is here. So 21, when you put bring over this negative sign, it goes over to this side, it becomes a positive. Good job. So 30, um, 35 markers plus 21 markers. Okay. So one box will actually, once you've done this, you will find out that one box equals to how many markers? 35 plus 21 gives you 50 six markers in the end the answer the question was asking you for what uh, let me see again they, they're asking you for how many green markers were there in the box at first so green markers originally were two boxes right so as you can see it's two boxes here all you have to do as you can see is two boxes here right is therefore green markers equals to two boxes times 56 markers which will give you the answer of 1, 1, 2. Okay? Don't believe me? Let's give a check. So let's check this again. Okay, I'm going to check here. Okay, I've got no space, but let's just check here. I'm going to do some mental sums here. Okay, so let's imagine right now, green equals to 1, 1, 2. Okay? After buying 3, he has how many? 1, 1, 5. And let's times 3 for red markers. 56 times 3, you get 1, 6, 8. Am I right? 1, 6, 8. Yes, I'm correct. So, 56 times 3 is going to give you 1, 6, 8. 1, 6, 8. Remember, you have to minus 7. So, you minus 7 here, you get 1, 6, 1. Good job. So, 1, 1, 5. I'm going to do calculator here. 1, 1, 5 divided by 5 is going to give you what? 23. 161 divided by 23 is going to give you 7. So we have proven that it is actually correct. The final equation is 5 is to 7 and hence the answer is 1, 1, 2. Wow. Let's just breathe. Sigh of relief. High five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Now, if you don't understand how to do this, I did it as slow as possible. You can just rewind me, listen to me again, rewind and listen, rewind and listen until you get it. And this is one of those questions where you have to really practice three, four, five, six, seven times before you can actually get it. So do just that, and I promise you, you will know how to do this when it, when it comes out in the PSLE, if it comes out in the PSLE, all right? Whoa. Wow. Okay, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm just going to make sure that you actually do this and repeat this today because this is very important. Okay, and today's quote of the week is line by line, the answer is mine. Line by line, the answer is mine. Line by line, the answer is mine. Why do I say this? Because I notice that a lot of you actually get very scared whenever you see something that looks a bit like this, like the previous question. It was like, wow, this is so long. But like I said, line by line, the answer is mine. What does that mean? Every single time you see a question like this, Read the first line first. Village A has two-fifth as many people as village B. Then release it for a while. Think about it. So it has two is to five. And then once you get it, then you move on to the next line. Look at it again. The ratio of the population of village C to that of village A is four is to seven. So pause. A to C is four, seven, and so on and so forth. And it becomes very, very easy, you see. Do it step by step, line by line. The answer is mine. With that, I'm going to sign off. This is Coach Saiful. We're giving you a high five. You! are a math prodigy. Good job.